we've seen things change now through the years. Um, but uh, we are in a, in, a, in a technological change that's happening right now relative to the capturing of the music, uh, the production of the music, and of course ma manufacturing and distribution as well as the marketing and promotion. Hi, I'm Joyce Logan and thanks for joining us here at Gospel International Video Magazine. Throughout this edition, we'll be taking you to the recent mega gospel celebration held at the historical California theme park, Knott's Berry Farm, where we met up with artists such as Dietrich Haddon and his lovely wife, Demita, Tremaine Hawkins, Trinity 5-7, Michael Stampley, GB5, Coco, and so many others. You are going to be so surprised. So stay tuned. Sparrow Records' newest artist, Brit Nicole, recently released her debut album, Say It. Brit's music is aimed toward teenage music lovers who are attracted to not only the pop style, but also the issues brought up in her lyrics in songs like Set the World on Fire and You. Brit describes her album in this way. Say It is basically my answer to God's call to be real and share who I am with others, imperfections and all. The Bobby Jones International Gospel Industry and Artist Retreat was recently held in beautiful Hollywood, Florida. The event took place at the luxurious Weston Diplomat Resort and Spa. The retreat was a 20th biannual event and participants came from all facets of the gospel music industry. Leaders of the gospel music industry presented agendas to foster the growth of gospel music. The Recording Academy recently announced its plans for a year-long celebration of its milestone 50th annual Grammy Awards, which will air live on CBS from Los Angeles Staples Center on Sunday, February the 10th. Recording Academy President Neil Portnow was joined by 27-time Grammy winner and 50th Celebration Ambassador Quincy Jones, as well as multi-platinum recording artist and Grammy winner Joss Stone. Jones, who was one of the founding members of the Recording Academy, and Stone helped unveil the official artwork for the 50th Grammys and announced a slate of activities for music fans and the music industry. It was a beautiful day at Knott's Berry Farm as a sea people enjoy the outdoor concert presented by Los Angeles radio station KJLH, owned by Stevie Wonder.
everybody doing? These are my brothers. This is GB5, stands for Gutierrez Brothers. What's going on? Jamie Aaron, my name's Louis, this is Isaac, this is Mark. Just want to give a shout out to everybody that's watching. Uh, we got a new project out, just dropped this uh, Unbreakable Bond. It's out in the stores. Uh, you get it on our website at www.gb5online.com. And we just did the Knots thing, it was rocking, it was hot. And uh, Dietrich Hatton's coming up, I mean, so many great artists coming up. And we're just privileged to be here. We're in Los Angeles, Gospel International. Love you. After 10 years on the gospel scene, Trinity 5 7 is stronger than ever on the stage. With a new project coming out on the New World Music and Entertainment. Tickets have already gone on sale for the two main venues, Creation Northeast and Creation Northwest. The 29th Annual Creation Northeast, the largest outdoor Christian music and teaching festival, will be held from June the 27th through the 30th at the Agape Farm in the mountain ranges of Mount Union, Pennsylvania. The 10th year for the Creation Northwest will be held July the 25th through the 28th at the George Amphitheater in George, Washington. Among the several stars to perform are Switchfoot, Reliant K, Casting Crowns, Newsboy, Third Day, Cutlass, Israel, Israel and New Breed. Music legend Aretha Franklin, whose career began singing in the Detroit church of her father, Reverend C.L. Franklin, at the age of 14 in the 50s, will give back to those gospel roots as she leads a revival from her hometown of Detroit for the third consecutive year, beginning Thursday, June the 14th through Saturday, June the 16th at 7 p.m. nightly. The three-night celebration will feature an impressive array of gospel vocalists and ministers, both local and national. Smokey Norfolk, Sissy Houston, Michael Stampley, Dorothy Norwood, Sean Pace and the Anointed Pace Sisters, Evangelist Ruby Terry, the Christianeers, and many more. And the Reverend Joseph Lowry, co-founder and president emeritus of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. Former EMI gospel recording artist Darwin Hobbs and wife Tracy were recently featured in a five-part special series called Happily Ever After on the CBS Early Show last year. CBS invited couples to write in and tell their stories. After receiving thousands of letters, five were chosen. CBS spent nine hours with a couple in their Atlanta home, capturing footage from Hobbs singing to his wife, a song that he wrote just for her to filming him swimming at the YMCA and Tracy working out. The Wilmington Chester Mass Choir is comprised of singers from Delaware, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey. It's been four years since the dramatic Wilmington Chester Mass Choir's last CD release and a decade since their last Billboard hit chart hit. Now, the dynamic ensemble is back in the choir stand with a dozen modern-day hymns that are destined to touch hearts and souls for years to come. The new CD, It's Not Over, is the choir's first on the intro gospel label and already climbing the charts. Los Angeles Confidential Magazine recently celebrated Celebrated with Fonsworth Bentley, a star-studded event in Hollywood, California. Tone read the ink set fully in his original Southeast culture garb and turned heads everywhere. Mr. Bentley's new album, Colors, releases soon. Founded in 1967 by the late Reverend James Cleveland, known as the King of Gospel, the Gospel Music Workshop of America, GMWA, the world's largest gospel music association, celebrates 40 years. In honor of its 40-year celebration, the organization launches its own record label. Weiss Music Group, which stands for Where Everybody Is Somebody. In commemorating this celebration, GMWA is making available its first two recordings, GMWA Live in Kansas City 2004 and GMWA Live in Milwaukee 2005. This year's convention convenes August the 12th through the 18th. The theme, Life Begins at 40, A New Beginning. And the Gospel Announcers Guild, the largest auxiliary in GMWA, announced its 2007 award nomination. Gospel International profiles Sherry Bryant. Stand up on your feet and begin to worship the Lord. Give Him the adoration, the praise, the honor, and the glory. Come on and bless Him tonight. Hallelujah. He is worthy of the praise. Come on and help me sing it. He
Los Angeles hosted the West Coast Conference of the Gospel Music Announcers Guild and LA chapters of GMWA. Gospel International spoke with National Vice Chairman to the Guild, Sam Williams. Uh, we are in a, in, a, in a technological change that's happening right now relative to the capturing of the music, uh, the production of the music, and of course, ma you know, the manufacturing and distribution, as well as the marketing and promotion end. And uh, these are the kind of technologies, uh, for example, that get the Gospel International uh, magazine show uh, presenting now. Right now, we're being seen across the world in millions and millions of homes uh, by way of this technology through the internet. All right, uh, I'm Bishop Sam Williams. Uh, wearing a whole lot of hats in the industry, actually NGE Consultants, if you'd like to get in touch with me, uh, nge.nge at juno.com. Thanks for joining us. Look for our extra edition coming soon with more features and highlights from Knott's Berry Farm and from the GMWA West Coast Conference. See you later.